Yo, so look, man. Shit is about to hit the fan. We're talking about the music industry, the hip hop industry. We could be talking about the Jeffrey Epstein of rap, man, because this guy right here, <laughs> Sean, Sean Diddy Combs. Look, man, someone with the name Diddy. You're telling me someone with the name Diddy is doing stuff like this? Oh, wow. Look, bro. Diddy. Change, change the I to an A. You got it, man. He is a weirdo, for what it seems. He has done a lot of... He's been accused of doing a lot of, you know, horrible, horrible stuff. And, um... You know, he's being accused of, uh, you know, doing stuff to, you know, trafficking, all right? We're talking about some really serious stuff here. And let me tell you about something. This guy, man. There's many rumors surrounding this guy. Um about you know when he was with justin bieber when justin bieber was like 14 15 i don't know how old he was um and then we have diddy here who was kind of like he was with him he was hanging out with them which is weird you know what i'm saying and then just on the look on justin bieber's face like let me show you guys real quick look at this right here man look at this guy <laughs> look at this <coughs> Look at him, bro. It's a little bit weird, isn't it? He was like, how old was Diddy here? Hold oh, I don't know how old Diddy was. But he was old as fuck already. He was like 40 or something. He was on his 40s here. Look. A little bit weird, no? Wait, let me skip it a little bit longer here. Here, is it right here? Right here. Look <laughs> at his face, bro. I don't know. Look <laughs> his face, bro. You're telling me there's something wrong here. Look at him. Look at that look, man. Come on now. Gee, okay. How? Why? Oh, yeah. Usher. That's another dude. Who a lot of people are saying that. This dude groomed in some other stuff, you know, did some terrible stuff, and uh, it's weird. Like, why does, why do you have the guardianship of him, bro? It's a little strange, you know, so, yeah, so. Bro, but anyways, yeah, this guy's been accused of. This guy has been accused of so many stuff, man. You know, and uh, it looks like it looks like it's time, man. It's like it's time for for him to, you know, face the justice system, I guess. But this could be another, you know, situation. He could have. There could be other big celebrities or other big people that could be involved in this whole situation. And this guy is rumored to have a lot of cameras in his in his house, in his mansions. Why does he have cameras in his mansions? Supposedly he has cameras in every room. Uh, so imagine when you know when he has parties in his mansions and people you know is. There's, man, there's going to be a lot of, you know, surveillance about it. There's going to be a lot of surveillance video 
in his house and it looks like the FBI uh, took the oh the feds took a lot of stuff out of his house out of his mansion bro um they came they took out like pa like stacks of you know a bunch of stuff it could be like could be like hard drives it could be you know you know you don't know what could be in there bro um but it's weird that you know it's not weird look man the fact that this guy or the fact that the feds managed to go and raid three of his houses or three of his mansions at the same time they might have, they must have been you know looking into this guy for a lot for a while now they must have been you know keeping keeping an eye on him for a good couple of years now maybe and then they finally decided to to you know i guess have, have just have, doing have enough to raid his um his house his mansions with his sons some of his sons were in in the in the mansion so they they had to you know put him in handcuffs but it's crazy that this guy left his kids and he's he was supposedly fleeing away so it's a little strange man a little strange if you ask me man why are you fly, fl you know fleeing away and it was you know it was just let me show you guys the look man right here so this is pay he's pacing back and forth man look man tmc has a lot of fucking people bro they have people everywhere they managed to get this shit out in like 10 seconds you know 10 seconds after this whole situation happened TMC managed to, you know, have someone out there, fucking in Florida, and just managed to have them capture him right at the end. You know, these guys are fucking, these guys are insane, TMZ, man. These these fuckers are crazy. But look, man, he's out here pacing around the airport in Miami. Why are you pacing around, bro? For a reason. Because you're worried about something. You're nervous. Nervous energy right here, man. Nervous energy pacing back and forth. Worry that you know you might get caught, man. You know what I'm saying? It's insane, insanity. So look, search warrants activity at homes belong to music producer Diddy Homes. The house was owned by him, by his label or something like that. His uh, I forgot Bad Boy something, which is a bl look at the name, bro. Come on, bro. You can't. This guy has there's so many signs of this dude. No, now you're doing some crazy. So look right here, the homeland they managed to you know, this in human trafficking. Yep, yep, fucking crazy. They had the fucking SWAT team in this bitch too. Insane. They had like thirty cops plus the SWAT team plus fucking. Uh, like a two hel or like a helicopter up in this motherfucker, ready. And here it is, However, man. As you can see. Would not say whether Combs is the target of this investigation, citing the sensitivity of the investigation. I mean, itself. he has to because he he's the owner of the uh of the mansion, bro. Now agents with Homeland Security raided two homes belonging to Combs, one here in Miami Beach, the other in Los Angeles. That shit, uh, here in Miami Beach is an 11,000 square foot property. That, uh, and uh, late tonight, we saw agents walking out of this house carrying a cardboard box as well mm, as you several see that? bags from the Ooh, second story of the property me. out here. Now, so they just took some stuff out there. So it's not like they came out empty-handed. So they did manage to find some... Uh, some evidence or some, you know, enough for them to take with them. Angeles could be seen walking around Combs's house there. They were processing the scene there and could be seen uh, taking notes on a table there. Now, an official with mm -hmm. Homeland uh, Security here in Miami tells me that uh, the raid that took place here happened a little bit after three o'clock this afternoon. And a neighbor tells me that about 30 to 40 law enforcement officers hey, you know. showed up to the house out here and carried out this search warrant. Uh, again, Anderson, late word tonight uh, from a law enforcement who tells my colleague uh, Josh Campbell that these search warrants uh, that were executed is in connection with a sex trafficking investigation. There you go. Fuck. Would not say whether 
Combs himself is the target of the investigation. And, and, and has Sean Combs commented on the searches? Oh, look, man. Oh, look, man. This guy. This Look, these are the timeline of allegations of Sean Diddy, man. So, look. So, he's been obviously, um, including, yep, accusation of. I don't want to say it because I'm gonna demon it. I'm not demon. I'm not even whatever. I don't want to get age restricted, you know. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. So look, here are some. It dates back to the fucking '90s, bro. This guy is. He's been doing this shit for the fucking thirty years, bro. You know, but you know, he money. People with money, people with power, they manage to get away with everything just because they have money. You know, which is crazy, man. They, we should all be treated the same way, in my opinion, bro, for real. In 90s, Combs started his music industry, yep, and worked under this guy, Andre Harrell. <laughs> Look, so there was a lawsuit in 2023. Um, the R&B singer Aaron Hall... Ooh, look at him, Ooh, crazy. And then beat him. Wow, it's just crazy, beat her. I'm telling you, he's out here beating people, you know, abusing women. Look at this, he's drugging people, really assaulting. <coughs> Not only that, he's being accused of doing stuff with minors too, so, you know, it's crazy. Yep, look at that shit. In 1993, after being, he started his own uh, record label. Yep. All these big fucking artists. So in 93, he started his own uh, record company. 96, he was, look at it, 96. He was threatening a photographer with a gun. Damn, so 98. So in 98, he started doing his fucking, his parties, bro, you know? This one, he started just doing his parties, which is what he's known for. Fucking crazy parties, freak offs, or whatever you want to call it. Um. So, yeah. Pretty much, you gotta be fucking the best of the best fucking actors and artists and, you know, every fucking, anybody with power, to with money, with influence, I guess. Anybody with influence, huge influence, managed to go to these parties. In 99, he was arrested and charged with two felonies, man. Second degree assault and criminal mischief, bro. Beating... He beat it, he beat up a record executive man. Him and two bodyguards beat him with the fist and a telephone, a champagne bottle, and a chair. And all he did was apologize, bro. And then he gave him 500k. I'm telling you, bro, crazy. 99, not in the same fucking year, dog. Damn, he was arrested. Look, he was arrested with, with his, you know, when he had a Jennifer Lopez there. <laughs> he was charged with weapons, but uh, yeah. 2000. This is where he started his reality TV show that, you know, went 12 seasons and, you know, successful MTV and stuff. 2001. A TV host, bro, is suing. Suing comms, Sh Diddy. He was accusing him of assault, false imprisonment, destruction of property, emotional distress. Damn. He then destroyed his camera. Oh, wow. And obviously, again, the jury finds obviously the power that this guy has. 2003. According to a December 23 lawsuit. 
damn, look at this fucking insanity. Look at all the stuff that he's doing here. He's fucking doing some. Uh, all that cra look at that crazy. I was just fucking hollering for you, motherfuckers, because I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna say this shit. It's too, too, too much, man. Look at that underage as well, bro. Underage right there. Oh, uh, fucking crazy. Two thousand four. I don't know what the fuck this is. Another white party. Two thousand five. The singer. Damn here, dude. He's always signing. Always whoa, signing young talent for a reason, bro. You know. Back in now, we are in February '06. Oh, damn! So now he started abusing her, bro. After the, after she signed the deal, wow, it's fucking crazy. Look at this: years of psychological, psycho emotional abuse, force her to take her drugs, cocaine, force her to do drugs, and build her as she made her made her have with other pretty much you know um turning her into an escort pretty much fucking crazy damn look at that the freak off is great i'm telling you this guy has been doing this shit for such a long time it's all been here but people just you know they just seem to forget october 07 he became an ambassador and some yeah Congratulations. March 6th till 7. Another law fucking suit. Man, this guy is getting fucking. He's getting lawsuited. He's getting suited everywhere, bro. Look at this. So spit on somebody. And he, will, and he, he basically said that the person was lying and, and trying to. To take advantage, of course. Of course, he's gonna say that, man. You know, of course. I'm telling you, man. Oh, so having the same, all the same year, right here, boys. He's out here threatening fucking people. Damn, he's out here yelling at people. Damn you. Oh, 10. Here's Ventura again. Pretty much saying that Diddy was controlling her. Controlling her company. Controlling her. Damn. So she started to lose memory loss because of the drugs that he was making her take. Look at that. Already making, causing damage, man. Causing damage to other people. And he pretty much wanted to own uh, Ventura here. F crazy. Oh, 2012, man. Look at this. Ventura alleges that Combs said he was going to blow up the car of rapper Kid Cudi, who he uh, she was dating at the time. Look at this. And his car actually exploded, man. Fucking crazy. Dude. Crazy shit right here. So pretty much Ventura said that Diddy was gonna blow up Kid Cudi's car, and around and then later, I don't know if it was later that when was it? Around that time. And then look, his actually car blew up. Actually, fucking blew up. He's out here. He's a. T we have a walking terrorist, man. Jesus. And look, and Kid Cudi actually 
collaborated, so he actually ag agreed, you know. Fucking crazy, man. He's out here trying to fucking kill people, man. Yeah, he, you know, there's a lot of people are saying that, you know, that Diddy and Pac, you know, he, there's rumors, man. And he's out here blowing people up. I mean, trying to, you know, blow people's cars, man. So, you never know, man. I'm telling you, maybe he had something to do with Pac. So, we'll, we'll see if we ever find out. So here I'm deals and fucking some brands and congratulations, whatever, yeah, yeah. Yep, bunch of nonsense. Look at that, so they met to have dinner. To f So basically they met to have dinner because it was going to be the end of her contract, so they were going to pretty much end the contract there and just end the relationship. And then... He forced himself into her apartment and damn, man, I'm telling you. <coughs> yeah, so basically, he just, she just dipped. Yeah, look at that. He's out here getting achievements. <coughs> look at that, bro. He's out here getting fucking achievements, man. Out here getting achievements for this shit. Or by awards, like, and while, while he's doing all this crazy nonsense. Another, damn, they he became a billionaire, bro. Fuck. It's fucking crazy, man. Look at this. Look at that, so now, Lil Rod. A, pro a former producer of Diddy. Oh my God, he groped him, bro. He's, he's I'm telling you, he's he's by man. He has to be by. Diddy has to be by, bro. This guy's out here fucking trying to grab somebody else's, you know, nuts. Oh man, I did doing another thing, doing the same thing that that he did to Ventura, doing the same thing to Low Rod, man. Fucking crazy. Forcing him to do the, exactly the same thing, man. Doing the same shit. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, he gave... He got some feed. Fucking incredible. <laughs> yep. Look at this. Ventura accused Diddy of misconduct. Her mom, yeah, man. Trafficking. And then she obviously did a civil lawsuit. Yep. Look at that, more stuff. I'm telling you, more. Look at all these accusations out of nowhere. But yeah, but anyways, I'm telling you, this guy is. And you know who was right? Cat Williams, brother. Cat fucking Williams. That guy has the secrets, bro. Cause he predicted this shit, man. Don't get it twisted. Look, let's check out what Cat Williams said a couple months ago before this whole situation happened. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. Hey, it's all, man. Any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. I didn't have no more of these. Amen, amen. Gee. <laughs> Fucking crazy, uh, isn't I, it? I don't, I'm getting one here. All right. Uh, after that, I don't really kind of know where to go. Let me one more time. <laughs> mm, mm. Right. We good now? 
because the people want to know well, why would he get blackballed? Yeah, oh, because I was ask because you that. because in thirty years I've done nothing but collect information, knowledge, and your secrets. So if you and a man was in a corner doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing, you would tell it. No, somebody come to tell me. Okay. I gather that. I value that. I'll pay for that. Come, tell me. I know so many things I shouldn't know, and they all know it. You know, bro, this guy. He's, he's, so far, he's been right, man. And yeah, we'll see what's going to happen to this guy, man. But yeah, that's going to be it, man. And uh, this whole situation is crazy. But let's see what's going to happen to him. Will he go and uh, will it be proved that he did all those stuff? And if it does, will he pay for what he's done? Or do you think, you know, the same thing will happen to him that will happen to Jeffrey Epstein? You know, but we'll see, man. We'll see. Time will tell if Diddy's still with us. So, yeah, we'll see if he doesn't decide to uh, off himself. So.